All right, folks, if you're new to this series, we've been taking a different advertiser-friendly content guideline every couple of weeks and doing an in-depth look at how it applies to content on YouTube. This week, we're going to be focusing on harmful or dangerous acts. And I want to start out with one clarification in response to a question from your good selves. EJN TV has called out that they want to know how the advertiser-friendly content guidelines apply to content which has footage of surgery within it. Surgery-related content is more often than not going to be related to a different advertiser-friendly content guideline, and that is shocking content. If you look at the page, which we'll link in the description below, you'll see it sits just above harmful or dangerous acts. Now, when it comes to surgical content or content which hosts footage of surgery, there are going to be three different levels. No ads, limited ads, and full ads. No ads is going to be raw footage of surgical content. That is, if somebody's in the operating room and directing a camera right down onto, for example, an open chest. Second, limited ads. This is where you might have educational, documentary, scientific content where parts of a surgery might be exposed as part of a broader narrative. In addition to the educational, we have birthing videos. There are a lot of them on YouTube. And if there are scenes which are featuring, you know, bodily fluids and the act of birthing itself, that's going to get that limited ad status as well. Finally, we have the full ads, and that's where you have censored graphic imagery. So imagery that is inert because of the fact that it's censored, but maybe graphic beneath the pixelization and has fleeting glimpse of the surgery itself. That's where you're going to get your full ads. Now, with that clarification out of the way, let's move on to our three insights. They're going to be based around injury, distress, and information. Injury I bring up because of the fact that under harmful or dangerous acts, we're going to see an awful lot of failed compilations. If there's a focus on graphic injury, you're going to find yourself getting that no ads status. Now, if it's a failed compilation where nobody gets hurt, the injury is momentary, they get up, they laugh it off, that is fine for full ads. So that is your first insight. Second insight I want to talk about is around distress. And I bring that up because of the fact that pranks and challenges are, by their very nature, going to involve a certain degree of distress. A prank is never going to have zero distress. That's kind of half the point. But there are varying degrees of stress. So let's start with full ads. What's going to get that green icon broadly? Most pranks and challenges. So long as there is no prolonged distress or a high risk to injury. Around challenges, most challenges like the ice bucket challenge, same concept applies. If there's a momentary amount of distress and no long-term harm, you're going to be fine for your full ads and your green icon. Now, moving to limited ads. Examples of this may include a prank where somebody's life or livelihood is threatened. So you probably saw a trend whereby a boss would go over to an employee and film them and say you're fired. That has a varying degree of humor associated with it, and that's going to get that limited ads status. Similarly, if somebody is taking a fake gun out or a fake knife out and threatening somebody, even though it's only for a short time, that's something that's similarly going to get that limited ad status. And then moving to no ads. The types of things that are going to get no ads, so again, that yellow icon, but won't run ads, are pranks or challenges related to more serious topics like abortion, suicide, death, physical harm or distress, and distressing a minor. So any pranks where you're causing a child to cry for a prolonged period of time, where it's not just momentary, that kind of jumping out and saying boo type stuff, that is where you're going to get no ads. And finally, moving from distress to information, our final insight. The interesting part about the Harmful or Dangerous Acts guideline is the fact that it houses guidance around misinformation. More interesting than that is there's a binary here. So I'll no longer be talking about limited ads, only full ads and no ads. So let's start with full ads. That's largely going to focus on documentary content that debunks theories of misinformation within the medical sphere and beyond. And that might be as simple as calling out that there is a trend online of people believing that yogurt cures cancer or there is a cure for diabetes, things around which there is no scientific consensus. 
and we apply that same context to other theories of harmful misinformation. If it's educational, objective, and focuses in some way on debunking the theory of misinformation that people are seeing online, then that is something that can run full ads. Moving to no ads, we're still looking at medical misinformation and other forms of harmful misinformation. Medical misinformation, the types of things that we'll see no ads are those same types of examples that I outlined where the creator is actively promoting those theories or any content that focuses on the groups that promote those theories will also be demonetized. Again, if it's an educational, if it's a documentary angle where it clearly debunks, that is something that can run full ads. Those are your three insights for harmful or dangerous acts. If you look through, we provide good guidance around vaping and tobacco and other areas, but those are the three I would focus on. They're gonna to apply to most of the content in this space. If you have any questions, know that I read every single one of them and I'll be the one typing in the replies. I'm gonna try and get to as many of them as possible. If you have a preference for another guideline, another content area you want me to address, you know where to put that suggestion in the comments box below this video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for engaging. Remember to like and subscribe. I've been your policy guy, Connor, and I'll see you next week for the newsflash.